to man oh man well ladies and gentlemen welcome to mobile alabama as we are here we are ready to go and uh, we are excited to see this man ladies and gentlemen your newly crowned world's heavyweight champion john moxley winning the championship back at wrestlemania this past sunday and uh, let's just say John Moxley hasn't had the greatest week here in Universe Mode as we've seen during draft night one. John Moxley came out and said to all the general managers and the commissioner, William Regal, simply listen, I don't care what you do, I don't care where I go, I don't care where the world title goes, keep the shield together. That was the promise that William Regal said that he was going to try his hardest to keep. But it was a promise that William Regal in the end was not able to keep as Adam Pearce scooped up Seth Rollins, Claudio Castanoli, and Wheeler Yuta of the Shield. And now those three men being away from the rest of the Shield as we have yet to see where Brian Danielson is drafted. And also, ladies and gentlemen, John Moxley has been drafted to Mayhem. Mayhem is now um, under the branch of the World Heavyweight Championship, it, it getting its huge boost with the World Heavyweight Championship, ladies and gentlemen. But as you see, Moxley going down to the ring slow pissed off and not amused at all you can just tell this man went from being excited to well not really too excited as we all know ladies and gentlemen John Moxie was looking forward to reigning as world heavyweight champion with the shields and now now it's looking like he's gonna have to pull this one dolo ladies and gentlemen Moxley's here full out arena here tonight in Mobile Alabama for the first time in my career I stand on the top of the mountain. For the first time in my WWE career, not only do I stand on the top of that mountain, but I stand on the top of that mountain holding the gold that matters, holding the title that everybody wants and that everybody's coming for. But they never told me that getting here, that getting to the top, that reaching that full potential would cost me the shield because Monday I asked I asked so so very nicely I asked William Regal I asked Adam Pierce I asked Wade Barrett for one thing and one thing only and that was to keep the shield together we have been a unit since the start and we have done nothing but grow in numbers and what happened well management failed us that's what happened when it comes down to my future, there's been a real big question mark on me. There's been a lot of questions, but not any answers. So here's those answers to some of the questions that the WWE Universe has for me. I am going to Mayhem to dominate. I am going to Mayhem to make the Shield proud. I am going to Mayhem to continue to do what I do each and every single week and that is dominate because before I became world heavyweight champion I was doing great things I'm the man that led my team to a war games victory I'm the man that single-handedly pinned Roman Reigns two times and I'm the only man that can ever say it I am simply the man and it's about time that the WWE Universe gets a taste of the real John Moxley the John Moxley that a lot of people have been fiending for the lunatic fringe the ace of the WWE you want that Moxley you are getting that Moxley but trust me and trust me alone when management begs for that old shield Mox to come back trust me it will happen, and when it does happen, there will be no return, because once, once you take that lightning out of the bottle, I am going to be all over the place. I am going to dominate, and I am going to do any and everything in my power to make sure that this title stays around my waist. Oh, oh man, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think we all knew at some point this man was going to say something, and something this man is choosing to say, as you see, World's Heavyweight Champion John Moxley in the ring. He knows that music as we've all gotten very familiar with that music over the last season here in Universe Mode. Ladies and gentlemen, your first ever pillar in Universe Mode history. The Prince, the third World Champion in our championship history books. And a man who was not loved by the WWE Universe, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Season 3, 
Finn Balor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did learn over over on Monday night's episode of the draft night, we learned that the entire Judgment Day, including Rhea Ripley, even though that she is not here, she got drafted separately, but Rhea is here on Mayhem along with the Judgment Day, and it is now confirmed, ladies and gentlemen, at the Judgment Day, they're staying right over here on Mayhem, or I shouldn't say staying, they're coming to Mayhem, as the Judgment Day has been on Mayhem, I mean, everybody really has been on Raw and Mayhem, but now with the brand split rules coming into effect starting this Monday, with the King of the Ring starting on Raw, World Heavyweight Champion on Mayhem, that is when things truly are in full effect. So, ladies and gentlemen, get used to this face because for the, for the foreseeable future, Balor's here. What the hell is this? This is the championship reign that everybody couldn't wait to look forward to, to sit here and watch you stand in the middle of the ring and bitch and moan when really it should be me that has the gripes. It should be me that has the problem. Let's name problem number one. The World Heavyweight Championship isn't around the first pillar of this company. Problem number two. I was very, very late. The Judgment Day was very, very late in the draft picks. When in reality, it should have been the third ever World Heavyweight Champion, Finn Balor. I feel like you continuously Forget my resume and let me let you know something. Let me make something very, very clear to you, Moxley. I am not done with you. I am not done with the World Heavyweight Championship. And I don't know if you go back and watch the show, but I was drafted to Mayhem just like you. So if you think that the war is over... If you think that the battle is over, trust me, and trust me alone when I tell you that it's not. And this time, Moxley, there's no shield to cover you from all of your failures. There's no shield to protect you. It is you against the Judgment Day. And the Judgment Day always lands on top. <laughs> you know what's funny? I completely forgot about you. I mean, you, you, you were literally the last thing on my mind. I don't know if you've been hearing, but there are other things going on outside of you. So if you think for a single second that I'm worried about you coming after this, coming after my title, and yes, that is the fact of the matter. It is my championship, and it seems like each and every single day that goes by since WrestleMania, that, that idea seems to be clouded in your head all you see is that you don't have the world championship well let me make something very very clear to you you do not have that title because of me it's not because of osprey it's not because of his failures because you would have got pinned just like he did the fact of the matter is i won because it was right place right time i won because i took the calculated risk that i needed to take nobody talks about how i kicked off wrestlemania and i had a 40 minute banger nobody talks about the fact that i got justice for brian danielson nobody talks about the fact that each and every single week in some way shape or form the shield find some way to dominate rather then the Judgment Day, nobody wants to talk about the fact that each and every single day of the week, John Moxley can mop the floor with Finn Balor when it comes on to one on one. Do not test me, Balor. I am not in the mood for your games, and I am not in the mood for Judgment Day shenanigans. You want a shot at this championship, you can get a shot at this championship, but the same outcome will happen to you that happened to Will Ospreay at WrestleMania, and that is you are going to get pinned, because the fact of the matter is that I was the hardest man going into that matchup, and I was the hardest working man coming out, because I am the ace of this company. I am. And I am the pillar. And matter of fact, maybe I should take that name from you because you don't deserve it, Balor. You don't deserve it because you aren't hungry enough. I can see it in your eyes. You got complacent. You got complacent, and that was your downfall. But there's no complacency when it comes to this lunatic fringe because I just lost everything. So if you think for a single second after I just lost my brotherhood, after I just lost my shield, that I'm gonna lose this championship too, then well, brother, you don't know me at all. But I promise you one thing, you will definitely get to know me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a heated exchange between the former and the current World Heavyweight Champion, Finn Balor and John Moxley, as this one, I believe, isn't going anywhere.